Right, so... I'm basically just doing the boss now to sort of showcase it. But yeah, you, it's not going to be a, a guaranteed dub every time. It just increases your chances of getting this fucker killed. Because it is generally teammate dependent, so... Looks like we got some decent ones. So we got a Lepic, hopefully not at like 1 HP. Enzo's great. I mean, obviously another faculty. So I always come here because I'm 100% guaranteed to get a bloody um, thingy over there. The place that releases the bloody bubbles over the corner. So I'll just whack a mag in. And then I'm gonna go and throw some of these bubbles this way. Let's grab like two stacks of them. Keep him cooled down. Alright, focus on dodging because he's aiming at me. Stay behind this for a sec. Let's get some bubbles his way. Oh, can this guy piss off? Why is he at me? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, he's after me again. Just gotta focus on dodging, I guess, because he's been a dickhead to me. Now we lay into him again and keep an eye on his charge. So you see this, that purple bar on that charge. So he's literally like at the bottom, so we ain't got to worry about him insta killing. But now again, you've got to do the same thing, but actually with some. Bulls. Okay, he's on me again. Fucking hell. I'm just gonna send some balls over. Okay, nice. Let's keep sending them over because we got some really high ones over there. Nice. Who's incapacitated? The Lepic. Shock. Alright, he's out of the immune. Just like that, it's really fucking easy. As long as you're focused, if you know that he's on you, focus on dodging, man. Fuck anything else. Uh, let me go check his gun. He has some on the front as well. But I just find the gun easier to tell. Shit, he's actually high. Gotta go cool him down. He's very high. Okay, I need to relax my mana a bit. Come on, MP. I'm not in combat. Okay, it's going up. Okay, about halfway. Okay, we need to go get some shit over to him. Focus on dodging. What's that gun saying now? It's definitely a lot lower. I need some ammo, I'll focus on that after. I just want to make sure I get some more cooldown on it. Bubbles. Yeah, if you're a Lepic, don't bring Gloom. Uh, don't come into Gloom. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you've like properly built for health over just doing maximal damage. Alright, you should be cool enough as well. Just catch out some more gun damage while I've got these on. Let's go get some more bulls, because definitely will have had a bit of charge upon that. Look at this Lepic, bro. Okay, his gun's cooled back down. Going. Don't have enough MP. 
Lucky. So I'm going to stay out of combat for a little bit. Just to charge back up. Doesn't take too long. That should be enough. Do that. Get some balls going over. How much his guns charge? That's the issue now. I'm, just, I'm gonna stay out of combat while he's there for a bit though, anyway, so I can get full MP back basically. Start sending a bunch over. is out. <laughs> uh, now just for a precaution, wherever he spawns that new shoot, I'm gonna go pull him down. Uh, to be fair, he's really low. I will go and pull him down though, just, just in case, man. Because I don't want to risk anything. Very viable build. Your goal is to not really dash out the damage. So if you've got like three other people that are pure DPS focused, you can literally focus on just cooling the fucker down. Like it's very simple, very simplistic. It works. <laughs> Don't care about what I get. Give me anything. Thank you. Right, I got shit with it now. But it's basically just um make sure no bullshit happens like we had two other good people there who didn't even go down once and our lepic that was just he, he loves being on the ground for some reason so yeah and as you can see it's very <laughs> very not like optimized for doing damage because it's purely just so you've got your l1x or whatever you want to call it your first skill so for reactor wise does not fucking matter. The only thing you want is skill duration and skill cooldown. Get those, you're happy. Simple as. <laughs> it doesn't. No, your reactor does does not matter. So find one of those with them too. You're, you're loving it. Now external components. Technically, uh, annihilations are quite a good set to have, like the full set. But not gonna lie, it the ones that I got aren't as good. I haven't farmed it enough to. It drops my HP a lot, so I'm basically just gone with does not matter about your full sets. I've literally just got HP, you want your MP recovery 100% out of combat. Then I've got max MP, which is very nice, very good. Uh, but you do want recovery out of combat, which I think, uh, in combat, sorry, which you can get on this. So if that HP recovery was MP recovery in combat, this would be even better. But, as like I said, I haven't got that one yet, so I need to be farming that. This, I've just got defense, MP recovery, modifier. This is like goated. This is a very good one. And for this one, doesn't necessarily matter. I've just gotten Slayer because it's got max HP on, give it a bit more HP. But ideally, you can get some like shield on this. This one's like very irrelevant. These three are your most important ones. You just want MP stuff. MP and any kind of HP or defenses, you're happy. Um, what else? Oh yeah, the actual buddy. <laughs> Forgot about this. These bad boys. So, I was building a mobbing one prior. So obviously, this isn't the best as it could be. It's basically everything in here, apart from the maximized chill resist in the bottom right. That would be taken out, but I just don't want to waste the slots. As you can see, it's good enough as is. But ideally, shot focus would be great here, and then that is like all you'll need that setup. So if you did 
have shot focus there, which I can't because I've leveled it up on a different character. That would be pretty much the setup you'd need. But because I can't slot that in, because I, I CBA to like redo it. Oh, bloody hell. I've just got in the bloody chill thing. Don't know if it does anything realistically, but why not? I've got extra slots to pop it in. But the reason why it works so great, as you can see, you basically just focus on cooling down and then dash out what DPS that you can. Like, I've got this, I just need to get one more slot to fill this up and then that just maxed out completely, and that's my gun. But yeah, as you can see, it's very consistent. All it does is depend on your teammates. If your teammates know how to dodge it, because you, you, you saw me dodging it, it's very simple to dodge that guy. As long as you know he's on you, just get focus on dodging <laughs> so yeah hopefully it helps because it is a very fun great build